Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice support video. In this video we'll demonstrate how to connect with the Testo 405i Smart Hot Wire Anemometer to the Testo Smart Tools app, plus give a brief overview of the app. To get started, download, install and open the Testo Smart application. Accept any permissions. Then remove the battery saver tab from the Smart Probe. The LED light will flash yellow a couple of times indicating the unit is on and searching but not yet connected to any device. When it begins to flash green, the probe is connected to the application. As you can see, our probe name and the current temperature and flow velocity are displaying on the phone screen. These are constantly updating. The device automatically opens in this basic view mode. To begin taking temperature and velocity measurements, all you need to do is press start. The record number and the time recording will appear on the top of the screen, along with the live readings. When you're finished recording, press stop. The measurements will stop. On this page you have the option to start a new measurement, resume the current measurement, or save your collected readings. Pressing save will save the collected measurement and open a new screen where you can input further information. Here you can see the date and time of the measurement. You can add and attach your customer's information. Attach any relevant images and attach comments. View the reported velocity and temperature along with the sensor this was recorded by. View the actual measuring period information including the start time, end time and total duration. Pressing display properties details the measuring parameters used to obtain the measurement you are saving. So for this example, we were in continuous measurement mode and the measuring cycle time was one second. And pressing show values details all the information for each recording along with the overall average, minimum and maximum total on the bottom. Lastly, on the bottom of the save screen, you can choose to export, generate a report or close off this screen. Your real-time temperature and flow velocity measurements can also be viewed in a live graph. As with the previous screen, press start to start data recording. Here you can adjust the parameter view using the four drop-down boxes at the top. Flicking over to the table is the same again. You can view each and every measurement within a table format. Each time you stop and start the data collection, the table will start again. You can flick between each of these three tabs during your measurement to view your data your way. On the top right corner is the settings. The options that appear here will adjust depending on your measurement mode. In basic mode, you can select a measuring mode, choose between continuous or multipoint, start, Choose between manual or automatic start. If automatic start is selected, you'll need to input a start date and start time. Recording finish, choose between manual or automatic. If this is set to automatic, you will need to set the duration of measurement. Use a scroll screen to select the finish time in days, hours and minutes. And lastly, you can select the measurement cycle. If you press the small information icon, you can see how the measuring duration affects the measuring cycle. To adjust the measuring cycle, press measuring cycle, then use a scroll screen to select the measuring cycle times. After the settings have been configured, press accept configuration on the bottom of the screen to save. The device will return to the measurement screen with your settings updated. The three dashes on the top left hand side indicate the app's main menu. There are six sub options in this menu. The first is measure. Under measure, you can select your measuring mode. Pressing on one of the measurement programs, for example, volume flow, duct, brings up the configuration for that program. Just like the basic view configuration, you can adjust the measuring mode between continuous or multipoint. But this time you can input measuring site properties, duct geometric, select the air type, input the dimensions and set a correction factor. Once entered, press accept configuration to save your settings. The app will now automatically move on to measurement mode. Now we can see the measuring time up the top where the operating flow rate will appear, the current flow rate value, as well as the flow velocity and temperature.
The next option on the main menu is Customer. Here, you can input customer information so that associated data can be saved and linked to them without having to re-enter it each time you take a measurement. Simply input the customer information and press Save. Measuring Site allows you to enter site details so you can link measurements to a particular site. The third option under this main menu is Memory. Here you can view, adjust and share all previously saved data. The fourth option on the main menu is Sensors. Under Sensors you can view connected and recently connected sensors. The fifth option in the main menu is Settings. To adjust any of the settings, here simply press on the item and select the necessary parameter from the drop-down box. Here you can adjust the language, measurement settings, select metric or imperial, turn on or off user-defined measurement settings, and adjust units of measurement for temperature, absolute humidity, pressure, flow velocity and volume flow. You can also enter in your company information, as well as view and adjust privacy settings. The last option on the main menu is help and information about the Testo Smart Probes. And that's how straightforward it is to set up the Testo 405i Smart Hotwire Anemometer and a brief overview of the Testo Smart app. For more information or help with this product, contact an instrument choice scientist. Call 1300 737 871 or email customer-service at instrumentchoice.com.au. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.